Thank you for joining us. Tuesday's caucuses saw record turnouts throughout the state and here in Anoka County. And even before caucus night, the political spotlight was shining on Andover, where Marco Rubio made a stop during the day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Rubio received a warm welcome from the crowd after being introduced by former Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal. Rubio shared his views on everything from the economy and health care to ISIS and his rival Donald Trump. He specifically addressed veterans and young people, encouraging all voters that he's the best choice to end the country's debt, as many cheered and chanted his name. And many of the values that help shape this country and make it special are under assault. And people are frustrated and they're angry. And you have a right to be frustrated and angry. And that anger and that frustration should motivate us to take action. But that anger and frustration should not define who we are. He is um, the only one that I think can unite the Republican Party. He, he is a regular American, and that's what makes him special. Hundreds of people turned out for Rubio's afternoon rally, but later in the evening, the focus was on all the presidential candidates at the precinct caucuses. CTN's Joe Nelson has more. Tonight, we're expecting a lot of folks. Whatever their reason was, thousands in the area Senate districts had their voices heard at Tuesday night's caucuses. I'm super excited about um, everything that's going on in the 2016 presidential election. A lot of new faces. I just think it's, it's, it's an exciting, exciting time for us. With seven presidential candidates left in the race, voters showed support. I went out, looked at a map, saw what precinct I was in, found my house, came and they told me where to go, stood in line, and just wrote on a little sheet of paper that I wanted to vote for Bernie Sanders, and here I am. I voted for Rubio, EA Rubio. But the night wasn't just to help select each party's presidential candidate. I count 13. We actually conduct a lot of our party business through this caucus format. We elect precinct chairs, vice chairs, and secretaries. Tonight I was elected uh, vice chair of the convening convention. When the votes were counted, Senate districts 35, 36, and 37, which cover Coon Rapids, followed nearly the same results as the rest of Minnesota. Republicans chose Marco Rubio with about 39% of their vote, followed by Ted Cruz and Donald Trump. For Democrats, Bernie Sanders dominated Hillary Clinton, securing nearly 60% of the vote. It's important for everybody to come out, no matter what the age, to come out and support who's going to be the one that's leading your country. In Coon Rapids, Joan Nelson, CTN News. Anoka County, along with the state, did not reflect the rest of the country, however, with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton each winning the majority of Super Tuesday states. For a deeper explanation of caucuses, how students are getting involved, and Minnesota's role at the polls, stay tuned for CTN News Spotlight.